Hey guys, welcome to Flop Shot Challenge Friday. That's right, Flop Shot Challenge Friday. I want you guys to send me your best flop shot. I'm going to pick a winner by tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern, and the winner will receive a personalized signed picture of me and a visor, okay? So again, you have till tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm picking a winner. I want you guys to send me your very best flop shots, okay? Because flop shot is personally my favorite shot in the game. Um, I mean, how does how do you not love a good flop shot, right? I mean, it's just sexy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my flop shot. Okay, so for a flop shot, it needs to be in the front of your stance, okay? And the weight needs to be pretty much all the way forward. Okay, you're gonna open your club face. And speed is the key when you're hitting a flop shot, okay? You can't have any slow club head speed going on down there because there's gonna be no spin, okay? Club face open, weight forward. Now we're gonna hit fast and kind of down on it. Pop it up. Nice and soft. So, good luck. And again, I'm picking the winner tomorrow, 6 p.m. Show me your flop shot. Hey you guys, a lot of you have been asking me to do a little bit of a bunker demonstration drills that you can do. And I'm gonna show you two really great drills. Um, the first one I'm gonna show you um, was actually a drill that Sevi Ballesteros used to do and it's really helped me a lot. So the important thing I want you to remember in the bunker is that you're not focusing on trying to hit the ball. If you hit too much ball, you're gonna hit it thin. If you hit too far behind the ball, you're gonna hit it chunky. You need to focus on that spot where you want your club to hit the sand, which is about two inches behind the ball. So the first drill I'm gonna show you, and I personally use this one a lot. Um, again, you can't do this on the golf course, but you can definitely do it on the practice green. Okay, so behind the ball, two inches behind the ball, you're gonna dig your club in. That's where you want your club to hit the sand. Okay, so for this drill, you're gonna start your club in this little slot that you've made and swing back and hit that spot on the way through. The second one I'm gonna show you is a similar drill. Again, focusing on the spot where you want your club to hit the sand. You can have a row of balls. I just have one here. Draw a line two inches behind the ball. This line is where you wanna practice hitting it. And you can even do this drill without a ball. You can draw a line in the sand and just practice going down the line and hitting that spot. Okay, but for this, I'm gonna show you how to use it with the ball too. Okay, so I'm hitting this spot, not the ball. And that's how you're gonna get better at getting out of the bunker. So I hope you guys like this um, little demonstration and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, what's up? I just got back from practice and I got a lot of requests from you guys to show some um, chipping demonstrations. And I'm super excited about that because the short game is actually my favorite part of the game. Um, you can get so creative with it and there's so many different opportunities for different shots, different clubs, all kinds of stuff. So we won't get into everything today, but I just wanted to show you one simple thing um, for different types of chip shots based on your ball position. And it's a super easy way to hit three different chip shots. So I'm using my 60. I actually really like to use my 60 a lot, but um, it's also important to practice chipping with all kinds of different clubs for all kinds of different shots. So you can use anything up to a nine or eight iron if you wanna hit a long bump and run. So it's so important and I can't stress enough the importance of when you're practicing your chipping don't just stand in one spot and hit one shot. Take four balls, go around the practice green and hit all kinds of different shots with all kinds of different clubs. And the more you practice that, the more confidence you're gonna have using that when you're on the course. So I'm just gonna show you a really simple technique for three different chip shots. The first one is going to be a little bit of a higher trajectory shot. And for this, it's just gonna be off of your left foot in the front of your stance if you're lefty off of your right foot. Okay, so, and if anything, it can actually be a little bit more in front of your left foot. But it's really important because you can't hit a high shot if your ball's in the back of your stance. It's just, 
it's not gonna work, your club's gonna bottom out. Okay, so it's important that it's in the front of your stance. You're not changing your swing or anything. It's just ball position. Front of your stance. High shot. The second one just is gonna be an average chip shot. Um, your standard trajectory, it's gonna roll out a little bit. Okay. Is gonna be in the middle of your stance. And for this, my weight is a little bit more on my left foot. I don't really want it back here because that's gonna promote bottoming out before you hit the ball, which is a chunk and not good. Okay, so it's just in the front. My weight's a little bit on my left foot. Same swing, different shot. And the last one, which I personally like to use a lot, is more of a bump and run style. This one is going to be you guessed it, off your right foot, or lefty, off your left foot, in the back of your stance, okay? With this, again, it's still important, my weight is still more towards my left side, not back, even though the ball is in the back of my stance, okay? And the same thing, you don't have to change your swing. The ball position has done all the work for you, okay? Back of your stance, same shot. A little bit lower trajectory, and that's gonna roll a lot more. So um, anyways, I hope you guys liked that little chipping demonstration. There's so much to do for short game and I can't do everything in one video, but I will do the best I can to start doing some more videos for the short game because again, that's my favorite part of the game. So I hope you guys have a great day and a great golfing day. Talk to you later, bye.